Hello, good afternoon, a bit later than I um, than I said I'd be originally, but sorry about that. that, Kim and Vienna are just leaving and after a bit of um, chasing around the garden and bottom pinching, um, they're on the way, so sorry I'm a bit late. Hello Julie, hello Daisy Elaine, hello to you too, and who's on YouTube? We have Amanda and Alison and Shirley and Joe, Linda, Mandy and Janet and I, I wasn't expecting so many of you, um, Carol Joan, uh, Carrie, Jenny, Cher uh, Cherry? And in Idaho, hello, hello, Linda, Sonia, Diane, and Biz. Laura, hello to you too. Julie's pink parcel arrived in Cornwall. Oh, good. Um, I had some lovely grandma time. We went out for a sushi last night, and we've been for a nice long walk around the woods in the mud today with wellies on. So yes, it was very nice. Um, also, been making up some samples from the new panels that we're launching on Create and Craft next Saturday, which um, hi Sharon in Montel and Marie in Montana. Um, Kim's put a post or a reel on her Facebook page, Kimberly Hines, of the Alice in Wonderland panels that we have coming up. So there's a sneaky peek. I wasn't going to show you till Wednesday, but there you go. Um, they are beautiful. I think it's the best thing she's ever done so far. And um, they're going to be on Creative Craft on Saturday at 7 o'clock at night. That's the 4th. And then at 9 o'clock on Sunday morning on the 5th. Um, I've already just ordered um, a load more of them because I think they're going to sell out straight away. And they come with instructions to make cushions and bunting and maybe something else and coordinating fabric as well. They're beautiful. Um, hello, uh, my name is pronounced like Juanita. Juanita, Juanita in Philadelphia. Hello, I'm very good, thank you, Linda. Carol's in Tennessee, hello. Uh, Maristella is, oh, Maristella Ferrari, what a glamorous name. Um, in uh, in oh, Maristella in Brazil, hello. Hola, Tai Chi in my España. And, oh, what, we're all over the place. Paolo's in Chile. Hi, Deborah. Um, my little bag from yesterday, oh, lovely. I'm picking a scene from something else. Um, hello, Marilou. Susan, hello to you. Janet, hello from New York. Been missing your live sessions lately. Glad to be here. Oh, you're in, you're in the same state as Rita. Maybe your neighbours, you never know. Um, Rita, if you're watching. Janet's in New York as well. Hi, Brenda. And uh, Chris in the New Forest. Hello, Faye's in Oregon. Uh, Chris is in Indiana. Thank you very much. It's... Uh, Oh, Diane in Massachusetts, Peg's in Illinois, Angela's in Ireland, aren't, aren't we multinational? We're all over the place, aren't we? Um, Stefan is in Chicago, wow, we're, we, oh gosh, Vanessa in Indiana, I uh, didn't know if we were telling where we were from. I'd, I'd love to know where you're from, uh, it, it, it means an awful lot, and particularly, oh, welcome along Jennifer, joined the Half Yard Club yesterday. No work done in the house. Now, that's the whole idea. No no work to be done from now on, ever. Hi, Bloddham. Um, yeah, it's nice to know where you all are. And it, it, it can kind of affect what time we're coming out. We, um, we did four o'clock yesterday afternoon for the first time with the Half Yard Club. And we had so many of you watching in the States, which is what you asked for. And I do know it doesn't help in Australia. So I, I don't think there is a communal time that's going to be good for everybody. So one week a month, which is the Half Yard Club so along, will be at four o'clock. The rest is still at 11 o'clock in the morning on Saturdays. It's still four o'clock on Wednesdays. That's not changing. Carol's in France. Maybe you know Julie. France is a small place, isn't it? Um, Jane's in a oh, White Horse, Yukon, Canada. Nice. Um, Janet's in Devon. Sunny in Tamworth. Hi, Megan. Oh, it's your birthday today. It is today, isn't it? I've got that right. You went out last night in your in your beautiful Lurex frock. I bet you looked amazing. And you're 15 today. Happy birthday to Megan. Hello, Belinda in Gibraltar. Um, the Mouse and Maddie's Bear. Susan, the Mouse is a Half Yard Sewing Club project. That's coming out in February, on February the 1st. Maddie's Bear is a project on the Booked Marked Club. You do need to register with them, but it doesn't cost anything. That's my, 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 my publisher's website. It's called Bookmarked. Can you applique my desires? Oh, I'm not, I'm not sure, Carol. I'm not sure about that. Might be a bit fiddly because they're quite small. Might be easier to just um, uh, embroider them. Anybody else applique my desires? Do let us know. Uh, hi, Marion. Hi, Alan. Hello, Raining Woman Houston. Um, 
bonds to put nice area that isn't it rosina we used, used to go there on holiday every year that kind of area anyway it was lovely i'm in boring northampton i don't know about boring bridget um books in the works for only two pounds oh no i didn't see that maiden i don't have any control over that unfortunately um what is the black country and where is it oh uh oh thank you very much um Sudbury Suffolk yeah Jackie I did say yes I'm gonna pop I've got some new fabrics and I don't normally show you things on the website um when it's half yard club we concentrate on half yard club so we've had all of these piles of new fabric come in and I haven't been able to show you so I thought I'd just come along now and show you English paper piecing we can do that Amanda that's a nice idea I've done that before but we'll have a look at some new some new techniques maybe so I don't know if we've got Irene with us they're on the website Irene Madison clasps these are in um, in the gunmetal grey and you get the clasp and two one inch gunmetal snaps so they don't come with anything else they don't come with any instructions or anything like that um, this is just the clasp and the um, the frame and the clasps you can download the instructions on the website on debbieshawsewing.com um, or you can buy a paper pattern if you'd rather have one printed out. Downloads are cheaper, so that's going to be the easiest way to do it. Um, which stabiliser do you recommend for jersey fabric to stop the stretch? I'm hoping to make a bag with it. Um, I would use, personally, G700, which is a woven stabiliser. It feels like cotton, and it's quite lightweight, and that's going to stop it stretching. You could use a non woven fabric um, stabiliser but the content feels a little bit papery nice for collars and things like that where you want something quite stiff um, but I think a fluid interfacing like G700 so it'll, it'll still move and drape but it just won't won't stretch um, Julie Julie's thinking about joining the half yard club what can we do to push you off the fence push you off the fence push you over the fence to persuade you we'll try it you can try for a month for free so um, use the word welcome in capital letters when you go to check out and you get a whole month for free. So then you can decide whether it's for you or not. Carol, the cushion at the back of me is on uh, my daughter's YouTube channel. Uh, on, look under Kimberly Hind and um, you'll see the tutorial for it there. There is a tutorial also on the Craft Cotton blog. I think that's on there. Um, no, they're, they're come together, Laura. So that I'm, I'm, I'm afraid they're just... They come together like that we can't really separate them uh the wadding for quilting have we run out i shall ask my daughter um biz says the club is well worth the money thank you very much uh jenny says julie is well worth joining the half yard sewing club i love it joan says what is there to think about well there you go looks like you're joining looks like you're joining us um oh alan's going to make kim's hard to plique cushion Oh. Diane says just do it it's fabulous Sylvia says he won't be disappointed it's a great club thank you really appreciate all of those oh. so anyway we've got lots of them okay but they do come from the far east so we, when we run out it just take ages for it to to, uh, for, to get them back in stock now these three I've only got one of each of these right so you've seen the Eden panels before when we um, commission them we test them out in all different colours and we decided to go with other than pink. So I've got one pink piece, but I thought one of you might like it. So it is less in price than the, the ones that we went with, but actually it's worth more because we still have to pay for these. They're quite expensive to have the test pieces done. A lot more than when you have a run of a few hundred. If you only have one, it puts the price up, as you can imagine. Um, but nobody else is going to have one of those. It is a completely one-off. So that's the, the pink one. I think they're going to go straight away. So just to let you know, this one is the grey one. And it's got grey and cream with the occasional kind of um, golden um, tree on that one. So again, only one of those. I've only got the one of that. And the final one that I've only got the one of is Maddie and Salmon. So that she will not be produced in salmon. So this is the only piece that there is ever going to be. So that could be yours. So I just thought I'd show you those before we get onto our posh fabrics. Uh, Laura says, I've learned so much from the quilt 
uh, the quote as you go quote in the last one. Did you see the video? I hope that was um, I hope that was helpful for you if you did. Hello, oh, hello Trish. Oh, I went I went all I went oh, hello. Me, that's me mate. How you doing? Um, I haven't seen any of your lives yet. Actually, mind you, I don't come on here very often. Um, but yes, nice to have you along. Are you going to do the next Seamless Sunday? I know I have no idea when it is. I don't know if I'm doing one. I presume so. But nice to have you there, if you can. Um, hello, Gloria in New York City. I don't know why I said it like that. Um, hi, Brenda. Oh, she's, oh, she sent a birthday cake to Megan. And uh, it's nice you joined us today, Megan. Yeah, I mean, you could be suffering from a hangover if you weren't 15. Um, and Lorna forgot I was here today. And well, here we are now. Then look at look at all these new fabrics. Are you ready for these? Okay. Uh, I think I'll show you Lewis and Irene in a bit. Right. So excited about these. There's not one of these I was thinking. Uh, Every single one of them was like, oh, I was a bit, I was, oh, a little bit like that. So I do need to um, have a look at my phone because I can't remember what they're called because there's so many of them anyway. So let me just scroll down here. So this one, Poppy Cotton Sunshine Chamomile Hexagons. I've got some really nice plain fabrics that are on the website anyway that go so well with some of these. So I just wanted to kind of drop those in and show you. Um, Oh no, oh no, that's what, oh, that's a new one. That one won't be on yet. Um, but we do have jades, pomegranates, purples. I'll kind of leave these out so you can see. Because very rarely, I don't know about you, very rarely would I buy a, um, a pattern fabric without a plane to go with it. That berry seems to go with everything. I've got a feeling there's not much of that in stock. And sage is a good one as well. And the denim blue. Denim blue, Delf blue, that one, Delf blue seems to go with everything. So I'll keep, I'll bring those in every now and again. So we'll, we'll go through, we'll go through quite quickly. Um, let's do this one. Trying to add the pink Eden panel, but it won't add it. There was only one Tracy, so maybe somebody else has got it. Hello, Lids in, in Florida, LS. LS Hales, is that Liz? This one is um, Poppy Cotton Sunshine Chamomile Floral. So this is a collection. So those two go together. They are beautiful. And the, the fabric is premium. It's a really um, high quality. I don't know what Susan Clare Gourmet Quilter does, Jenny. So I, I presume you can use any method to join, but I, I don't know what that is. I'm glad you like the video, Joe. Um, but yeah, they're just when you get these home, it's like with the Lewis and Irene um, fabrics, or um, it's already sold. That yeah, there was only one, only one of each of those. It says it's in stock. Maybe you need to refresh. If somebody puts it in the basket, I think that will stop you from ordering it. Let me have a look. Where we are. The Edens have gone, but it does say that the Muddy is in stock. I can't check on anything apart from the website on my phone, I'm afraid. So, um, no, I'm sorry about that. I didn't, somebody must have it in the basket and not checked out yet. Um, right, so that's that's those two. But again, really, I can't stress enough the quality. When you get these home and you just feel the fabric, you just, oh yes, I know what you mean when you get them home. So really top quality premium cotton. A, a, top, a top quality cotton is normally a finer thread, so the denier is higher, so you get a smoother handle to it, and you, you can really feel that. So it's not a heavy fabric, it's just very closely woven together with a fine thread. They, they are beautiful. They, they, Maristella, they are beautiful. Irene, did you see? We've got it. We've got, we, they're on there. They are on there now. Uh, we'll do more Pink Edens. No, we're not going to do any more of those. We may do some different colours, but it, it won't be... No, I've done with it. It won't be that colour. It won't be that colour pink. Um, oh, can, oh, no, the, these ones. These ones. Um, let me just check. That is the... Oh, no, this one is Susan Wheeler. I think I've got them mixed up a little bit. Oh, we'll go through we'll go through anyway so again all premium 
this is bird song oh no we don't we're okay bird song cream flora and it's got little bees and butterflies on it look it's beautiful um oh crystal got the gray well done so we've got little blackberries and bees and skeleton outlines of flowers it is gorgeous um irene if you go to new arrivals just go on the website new arrivals it's there um so there's that one and look i have two favorites and it's got to be the birds hasn't it look at those <gasps> so this one th these are all a collection again so if you're quilting it's nice to have the whole lot isn't it um this is bird song blue so we've got thrush wren blackbirds they're just I, I just i just love birds just love the birds and while we're there, is that a bird sign? This is the other colourway. I've still got the label on that one. I'd, I'd love to see a quilt made out of these. I just think they're so pretty and so fresh and so spring-like. And again, the, the quality of the fabric is, is amazing. And I think this is part of yeah, Birdsong Bees. So this is part of the collection as well. You can see how I wanted to show you these, can't you? They, they're just so lovely. Really, really lovely. So there's four in that collection. And I'm going to show you mixing colours as well because I don't think I'd put those four together without something like a pomegranate in between or a jade in between. So it brings out the colours, doesn't it, when you use these different colours. Uh, we have got a, um, a buttercup yellow, which will bring out the yellow in this one as well. I haven't got a sample down here, but that would, that would work really well. But they're just, they're, just, they're just lovely. I know, Jenny, they're gorgeous. Oh, is it? I didn't, I didn't even know there was a big bird watch weekend. Um, have I done the big garden bird watch? No, I did. I've not heard. What do you do? What do you do for the bird watch? Because um, we've got loads. Oh, like blowing the cobwebs away. Because um, we've got. Oh, we've got loads of birds in the garden. We've got all kinds of bird food and and fat balls and tree things and seeds and we're just anything we can do to encourage birds in the garden. Uh, we have very cheeky blackbirds. I love the blackbirds. They're my favourite at the moment because they just they just run around the garden. They can't even be bothered to fly. Uh, we get thrushes, loads of sparrows. Um, what are the long tail sparrows? No, long tail tits, blue tits. We get those. We get wrens. We get the occasional duck and the pheasant coming in as well. So let me know. Let me know what, what we need to do. Um, thank you, Sue. So, yes, yeah, so, so that is that is bird watch. And oh, I, I, I just make so many things so many things out of this they do come by the half meter but if you wanted to order more so if you wanted a pair of curtains then um, they do all come joined up but it's just beautiful so pleased with everything that bring in you today very rarely getting stock things that I think oh that's all right but these are just amazing okay you don't watch me fold that up do you um, Oh, thank you. I shall have a look at it later, Debbie. From the RSPB. Oh, okay. That's those. I've got loads. We're going to be here for a while going through all these, but I really wanted to show you. Um, so, seen those, seen those. One of my favourite designers is Lizette Anthony. I know it's one of Lisa's as well, if she's watching. And do you remember, uh, actually, the, um, the case that I made for YouTube, that was one of her designs. We've still got some of those. That's the butterfly flowers. Um, but I, the, I, I love the colours that she's chosen. I made PJ's pyjamas out of those as well. Of a woodpecker. How wonderful, Jenny. Count them. How many birds you see within an hour? Oh, right. I'll do that, Dee. Um, so let me see what these are called. So this one, botanicals, floral border. So you could actually cut those out and use them like strips of ribbon, couldn't you? Um, and then, let's see what comes up next. Small vines grey. 
So this again, all all a collection. This one is going to more birds on this one. Um, oh, flowers. <laughs> Maybe not so imaginative with the names of these, but um, but again, quality. The quality of the fabric is is amazing. And this one is green floral. And then this one is, hang on, I've lost my page now. This one is blue check floral. So I think with these, I, said, I, don't, I don't have all of my planes here. The sage goes really well. If you wanted to make them pop a little bit, I'd maybe go for a berry. So that picks out on the colours here. And nope, don't think that goes. We do have lilac, I don't have them here, but we do have lilac. That would go, and if you really wanted a bold colour, I think that the um, the purple tones would go as well. Black would look really nice with these. Grey would go very well. Um, the Delft blue, no, that doesn't go at all. But yeah, so that is, that's the whole collection, and I just think they are, are, are wonderful. Uh, I had Starling visiting my backyard and doing a one hour long session, singing sessions. We don't get Starlings, haven't seen those for a long time. Angela gets magpies. Uh, jackdaws. They chase everything off, including the seagull. I love jackdaws, though. So, Jen, I saw a woodpecker, so it was quite fun. I've not actually seen one kind of in real life. They're, they're quite big, aren't they? And um, I was driving with my eldest son, who's an ecologist, so anything to do with wildlife or anything like that. And it was at the side of the road, so we had to pull over and go and try and find the thing. And it just, it, it didn't fly off, it ran away, but we, we couldn't see where it ran to. But I just wanted a photo of it. You don't see them very often. Uh, right, so that's that collection. That's the Lisette Anthony collection. So all brand new on the website. I think they went on yesterday. And finally, so we did get there eventually. We've got the latest um, Lewis and Irene. So let me just find a page here. New Forest Crow. I love a crow. They're smart, aren't they? They're the ones that stand at the side of the road when you drive towards them and they step to one side just going, come on then. You and whose army? Uh, the. Oh, right, need to find these. Because these have been on pre order, they come a little bit further down the page. So if you go on to Brands and Lewis and Irene, they'll come at the top of the page there. So the one you're looking at here is uh, it's all spring hair real love. This is birds. So, swallows or highest martins? I don't know. Um, and then, love the designs they do like this as well. It seems to be a Lewis and Irene thing with the mirror images. This one, oh, we've got birds on twice. Oh, well, there you go. Um, this one is um, spring hair. Oh, it's just spring hair. And green vines. Um, Bunny's purple. So they've got again the mirror images of the rabbits on there, and then finally is Ditsy flowers. I don't know if they'd need another colour, you know. I have a feeling again. I haven't got those. I haven't got them with me. Um, but Lewis and Irene do the bumbleberries, which is their blender fabrics. Let me just see if we've got them in stock, because there will be a there will be a blender to go with these that we've got. I'm sure. Just have a look at that pretty fabric while I look for Bumbleberry. No, I need to search it. So menu search Bumble, B-U-M-B-L-E. Oh, it's out of stock. I was say the eggshell blue would have gone. That one would go. That's country grey. It's quite deep, but that, that works really well. Um, we need to make more stock of those, I think. Have a word with my daughter. But again, really lovely, high quality of fabric. Um, hello, Kathleen in Boston, Massachusetts. I know, Sharon, we, 
we seem to have been having a, a few nice new fabrics coming in over the last few weeks and all of a sudden the other day it was like here it all is and the van arrives outside and the pallets come in and all of these bags and bags of fabric so, oh yes. so these are um yeah the, these are kind of the premium ranges that we've got it's just so nice that they've come in all at once so um Alana gets huge groups of starlings using a bag we made yesterday for quilting gloves. Oh, right, that's a good idea. Um, hello, Julianne. The heart below behind me. Kathleen, that is a project that my daughter made and it's on her YouTube channel. Let me just find it. Um, Kimberly, not Mim, Kim, big fingers. If you put in Kimberly Hind, It's there, look. So search Kimberly Hind and she's got the tutorial for the heart cushion cover on there. Oh, she monetized it. We do skippable, so it doesn't take too long. Um, so that's it. So that's one of my daughters. I just thought I'd show you. It's lovely, isn't it? Perfect for Valentine's Day. And or as a gift just for someone you love. Or invisible zip in the bottom is that one. And um, it's all reverse applique. Oh, that was the one that she made for, you can't see it very well, can you? She made one for the Craft Cotton Company and um, I just thought we'd revisit it in the red fabrics. And we do have that fabric on the website, but I can't, I can't remember what it's called. What are the hearts made like welted pockets or other? It's reverse applique. So you cut out the hole, you interface the hole, and then you put the contrast fabric behind it. Um, she is very clever, isn't she, Angela? We've been sewing today, actually. The Bumble's, Bumble Bear is metallic. We haven't had those in, actually. Um, love the heart cushion. Oh, hello. Hello, cows. She's back. Yes, yeah, so you can use the heart stencil, Blood Run. Remember, we've got the free download on the website for the heart stencil. So, um, so yes, you can use, use that for that one. I don't think I've got anything else to show you. I thought I was going to be here for hours. But I think that's about it. Um, so, should we do some English paper piecing on Wednesday? I think we've done... I need to get some pieces. I haven't got any paper pieces. Um, so, yes, I shall... Yeah, I'd, let's do something like that. Not make anything, just to show the um, show the technique, maybe. I shall put some thought into what I'm going to... Oh, these would be nice. They all would actually be nice for these... So I'm just thinking off the top of my head. These Lisette Antonys would be lovely for English paper piecing because the prints are all small. So you're not going to lose anything, particularly something like that. Even if you're doing little tiny, you know, half inch um, hexagons, that would be perfect because you say you don't lose the design on smaller images. Um, hello, Amanda. So, yeah, we'll have a look at that on Wednesday. Unless, and I haven't already said I'd do something else, have I? You know what I'm like these days, if I don't write it down. Um, fussy cutting. We can do that. Fussy cutting simple enough. I know, Linda. I hope I haven't, hope I haven't thrown too much at you. Um, Lynette, oh, sorry. Lynette Anderson, not Anthony. Who am I thinking of? Is there an actress called Lizette Anthony that I'm, I'm getting that muddled up with in my... Uh, in my age. Thank you, Lynette Anderson. The top one would make a brilliant, it would actually, though, they're all really gorgeous. Um, so next Saturday again, let me see if I can find that. On Kim's Facebook page, I'm gonna have a look, Kimberly Hind. She's put a, just a little quick reel on there. Hold the line with the, um, the pan there we go with the panels that we've got coming up on saturday <clears throat> it'll play again in a minute but that's her design using original alice in wonderland artwork it's amazing we've been sewing with it so we've only got one panel in at the moment so we've made cushions in different styles we've made it the bunting we've made coasters we've made placemats so it's a huge old panel and it's, uh, it's, it's really pretty. So that will launch on Create and Craft on Saturday at 7 o'clock at night. It'll be there on Sunday. We've got another panel as well, which is um, a chrysanthemum flower, which is taken from the original 1800s um, botanical book. It's a chrysanthemum, all in reds and whites. So I'll give you, I'll give you um, 
um, a preview of that on Wednesday unless she wants to pop something on a website um, before that. But again, those are launching on Creating Craft on Saturday night at seven o'clock. So it'd nice, be nice to see you there. Uh, nice on a glass window, Christian, on the website. They would. Uh, oh, hi, Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Um, so Alan says, you can put the word love for red hearts in the corner. That's a nice idea, Alan. You could embroider that or you could um, free motion maybe. Uh, is there anything else they can use instead of cotter pin joints? I don't know what cotter pin joints are. Is that for toy making? Not sure. I'll have to have a look. <laughs> she just giggled. Oh. Right here. So I shall, I shall get off. Now I've shown off my new fabrics for you. Uh, well done for getting hold of those one-off pieces as well. If anything else like that comes up, I shall let you know because we just tend to hang on to them forever because they're not going to be used. So it's quite nice that you like them. And um, I better knit down and finish off making my Alice stuff. Um, so I shall see you, Alice. Hopefully, Julie, I've, I've got, we've got a few hundred for Create and Craft. And because of the feedback that we've had already, I've already ordered a few hundred more. And it normally takes about a week um, to get them printed um, because we, it, it, it's not like with the fabrics that, it, even the fabrics that we designed that are printed abroad, that takes months to um, kind of design and to order. It's a different kettle of fish when you order from the UK. It can be, it can be a lot quicker, um, but it can be a lot more expensive because of that quick turnaround and, and lower amount that we're ordering. But anyway, um, but they should be able to do that within about a week. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to get them on the website maybe next Monday and we'll have the panels on their own. So we don't ever do the same deal as Create and Craft. Um, they always have their exclusive deal. But if, if we launch there on Saturday, Sunday, unless they sell out of all of the stock with the extra, um, then hopefully we'll have them on the website on, on Monday, Monday or Tuesday anyway. Oh, thank you. Lisa makes teddy bears. The old type of joints for traditional bears. Thank you. I thought that was it. Is there an alternative, Lisa? Do you know? I've still got that teddy bear you made. Remember that years ago. Still got him. He sits in um, um, in the bedroom. Um, that's all right, Susan. Your daughter's name in YouTube, Kimberly Hind, H-I-N-D, Belinda. Kimberly Hind. Um, if you just put that in, she does what what Kimberly sews. Kimberly Hind. You'll find her if you if you type that one in. Um, yeah, I read that one. Okay, so safety plastic joints. Lisa says safety plastic joints instead of the ones that, that you said. Uh, can you pause the half yard club tutorials? Loving the book. How do you mean? Can I pause them, or can you pause them? You can you can cancel and then rejoin. Doesn't cost anything to do that if if you wanted to do that. What Kimberly makes? Thank you, Shirley. I can never remember the name of all of these websites and blogs and things. So sorry about that. Um, okay. So again, Wednesday, four o'clock, English paper piecing. Saturday, eleven o'clock. No idea. Saturday, seven o'clock. Those brand new panels on Crate and Craft. Um, so it's been a nice to have a chat on a Sunday afternoon, isn't it? Get, it's not even dark out there yet, so that's quite nice. Oh, thank you. Lisa's just put a link on uh, on YouTube. Alan's going for his five-course meal tonight. You're going to be a stone heavier tomorrow, Alan. Do you know when Bond or wherever I can stop? I didn't know we were out, Jennifer. I shall, um, I shall ask my daughter. There's a few things from that supply we need to order, so that um, we'll do that. Uh, don't forget, if you are placing an order, and it looks like we're busy. Um, if you're a Half Yard Club member, use your member code, um, your Half Yard Club member code, and you'll get your discount. So just do remember to do that because you get 10% discount on anything that you order. Um, I had to pause after you oh, talking to each other. OK, so it's been nice to have a chat this afternoon. I might pop up on a Sunday again sometime. It's been quite nice. Um, <laughs> thanks, Linda. And I shall, I'll see you again on Wednesday. I'll see you soon. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye. I'm not going yet. Because my end card still says Debbie will be with you soon and I need to change it. So Sorry about that. So I'm going to change it for see you Wednesday at four. And now I'm going to go because then now that looks more professional than just ending, doesn't it? Or just ending with Debbie will be with you soon when it's Debbie. Anyway, I'm going to go. I shall see you Wednesday. Bye-bye. <laughs>